Hi, welcome for RTL online trainings. In this session, now we are going to discuss about one of the important question in Oracle Fusion Financials. We know that in general ledger model, we are going to create the journals manually. We can also go for import the journals from different models like account payables, account receivables, and some other different sources. Even you can import the journals from legacy systems also in case if the client is using multiple applications to maintain accounting entries. So now the question is, we can enter the journals only in open period. We cannot enter the journals if the period status is not in open status. We already know that if the period is in open status, yes, we can go for enter the journals. Is there any other period statuses our status will allow you to enter the journals. That's the question. So the answer is yes. No journals can be entered in open and future entry period also. So whatever the previous statement is not correct. It's not correct. No. Journals can be entered in open and future entry periods also. If you are period is future enterable period in that time also we can go for enter the journals it will allow but posting can be done only in open periods you can post the journals only if the period is in open status let's see the this particular one practically how it will work i've already connected with financials uh, implementation user let's go for general accounting period close now we are working for us primary ledger okay we are working for us primary ledger here let me change this us primary ledger let's go for us primary ledger here whenever we select us primary ledger we can see that gl periods are open I would like to know what are the periods are open and future enterable periods. Now it's a September 2022. It is open status. And we can see that October 22 is future enterable. Now when we try to create a journal in open period, no need to do. Obviously it will allow, we know that every time we used to create, but you might have missed creating the journals for future interval periods. Okay, so I'm going to mention here the journal future period branch. US primary ledger, I'm going to mention this in October of oh, this date. See here, we can, if you try to choose this accounting period here, October 22, select accounting period, then it will allow you to select October 5th or whatever. The date I'm just going ahead with the adjustment here. And I'm going to specify both debit and credit. Let me choose that the organization has purchased some furniture, it's a debit. Debit means what comes in, credit means what goes out. So let's say organization has purchased some furniture. So I'm going to choose that the description contains furniture. Let's say this is around $1,000. Debit, what comes in, how about what goes out, credit. Let's say we have paid cash. So I'm putting it as credit as cash account here. It's $1,000. Like this, we can enter the journals even if your period is future interval period also. Now the journals are allowed, we have created and we have saved. But when we try to post it in this period,
Now we have tried to post this journal. So this is our request ID. This is the process ID. Got it. Let's see the status of this particular journal posting. Let me go for cancel. Go to navigator tools menu, scheduled process. Posting journals. Status is ready. Now it's running status. Take some time. This is our process ID, nothing but our request ID in case if we want to search for future purpose, then we'll be able to find out here. We can find the status here. If we want to keep this uh, process on hold, we can use this, put on hold and resubmit. Cancel the process. If it is running status, we can cancel it. And if we want to go for schedule at the time of submitting itself, we are supposed to schedule it. We have different scheduling options. We can specify that here. Yes, we can see that uh, we got warning message. It seems that we don't have any journals uh, which we have for posting in this particular period right now. Okay, And even if we search for the journal, whatever we created for October, means which is future interval period status, we cannot go for... Uh, Posting light when we go for search, manage journals, and we can search here, remove this counting period, and it the status will be unposted. Unposted. You can see that it is unposted. In case if the period is open, then it will allow us to go for posting. For example, let's say let's go to period close option. Go to general ledger and I'm trying to open this period, October period. Select this period here, open. Internally, system will run one program to open the period. See, we can we can get the ID also. Process ID has been submitted. It's very simple. It won't take much time. Within seconds, we will be able to find the status is open status. And we will also get one future enterable period. When we open October, November is going to be future enterable period. So we are going to get only one future enterable period here. See, October period is open. And we got automatically November period is future enterable. If client says that I would like to have multiple future enterable periods, two, two, pe two periods we would like to have future enterable period status, two or three, whatever. Where do we will set up that? In FSM environment. When we go for FSM environment here, we have specify ledger options. Let's go for financials. And when we go for specify ledger options, search for this task, specify ledger options. and choose the ledger, whatever we are working. We are working for US primary ledger, right? We need to select that, select US primary ledger. We will come to know the future, number of future interval periods is one, and the starting period is so-and-so period, okay? Fine, now we opened the October period. Of course, we can go for post this journal, whatever we have created in October period. Let's search for the journal, whatever we have created, manage journals. This is what journal we created already and it is unposted status. We would like to go for post it. Open this journal and now go for post. See that? Quest ID has been submitted. 
selected for posting. Batch status we can find here it's selected for posting. Let's go back to tools menu. Scheduled process. Period status is open period has done successfully here. Periods has been opened successfully. Post journals, we need to cross check once what happened. Let's see the status of this program. Journals, go to journals tab here. Minus journals here. Batch status. See, we got another issue here. The accounting period, October 22, is not open for reporting currency. USRC. So there is some other reporting currency ledger is there. It's not open for that. It's not open for that. So that's the problem. We have a ledger set there. It is not open. That's the reason it's not done. USRC subledger accounting. Subledger accounting. USRC. So there it's not open. Let me check where is where is the problem. Period close. this October periods is not open. Let's open this period. Once it is opened here, now again we will go for posting. Let's see the October is opened in reporting. Yes, it's done. Let's go back to our journal screen. Search for the journal. We got error message, right? This is what it was showing, error message here. That's fine. We'll go for post it again. Now, again, selected for post. Batch status is running. Now we can find the batch status has been posted successfully. This is how we can go for work with. We have seen practically this entry question. The question is, can we enter the journals in open period and also any other status periods? Open period, obviously, we can enter the journals and post it. Future enter future enterable status periods also will allow us to enter the journals.
but it will not allow us for posting. That's what we have seen practically. Okay. Thank you. Subscribe for our RTL online training to get more updates about Oracle Cloud Technologies. Thank you.